Taylor Dyson is a midfielder on the BGSU men's soccer team from Manchester, England. The junior is one of the six international students on the roster. So the question is, how does one journey from England to the United States? Um, by a plane? No, I'm joking. Uh, uh, I um, spoke to an agency and they uh, got me in touch with people over here. I had my highlight tapes from when I was a, a kid and I had the, had the accolades from playing at teams over in England. So that conversation happened and then I had conversations with different coaches and then eventually I, I landed in the States. So. Before becoming a Bowling Green Falcon, Dyson spent two seasons as a Falcon at Notre Dame College in Cleveland at the Division II level. It was a really good time, a really good group of guys. Um, freshman year was always a struggle, just uh, coming into a new squad, uh, big, big people, big influences on the team. Um, but going into that second year, I definitely felt like I had an impact on that team and I grew and I became a captain there, I had a really good season and I love that college, nothing bad to say about that college but I thought it was time to move on after that. Looking for a new challenge, Dyson hit the transfer portal at the end of the 2022 season, a process that can be very difficult. Honestly very stressful, uh, transferring such a short window in December to come here for the spring. Uh, I spoke to Martin first um, and then he put me in contact with Coach Nichols and then we had a couple of Zoom calls things like that. We spoke a lot, a lot of different things, things that he wanted, things that I wanted. And um, I came here for the spring because we wanted to be ready for the fall. While playing at Notre Dame College, Dyson was named to the Division II All-American first team, along with the United Soccer Coaches All-American second team. But just how different is the Division II level compared to Division I? So when I, when I was at a Division II school, I always thought there's no way it could be that different. Um, but honestly, it's a lot. Uh, just from a professional standpoint, especially with the teams, uh, the culture as well. This, uh, the team we've got here, very professional guys, really take care of themselves. Uh, the way we lift, the way we train is, is a lot different to the old school. So, Growing up in England, Dyson played four years of high school soccer at St. Ambrose Barlow RC. Along with Bowling Green and Notre Dame College, Dyson also played for Kings Hammer FC and Texas United and the United Soccer League 2 during the past two summers, experiencing the many styles and differences between American and English soccer. I feel like in England, there's a lot of older guys, more experienced guys, maybe some guys that are out of shape, maybe some young guys that are just coming up. But when I first come over here, I was like, there's no way it could be as good as English football. But honestly, settling down and playing, it's, it's very tough. It's, uh, you've got guys that are 18 to whatever age that are in prime condition, being taken care of. So it's, it's hard. A lot of athletes over here and very good soccer players. So Being an international student has its challenges. For Taylor, adapting to a different style of soccer and being away from loved ones has been the hardest. Um, adapting to the football was hard at the start. Um, adapting to everyone's different play styles as well because my old school had a lot of uh, Portuguese guys, a lot of Brazilian guys, so just the way they played was a lot different to me and especially coming to BG, the way we play, the system we play, I've never played in a 3-5-2 before and just adapting to everyone else and then obviously family was hard, I'm a big family guy at home, I spend a lot of time with my parents, my dogs, my brother, so um, that was definitely hard but I have their support 100%. So. Every successful team needs players who will be leaders in the locker room, especially with a Bowling Green team that has a total of 10 freshmen. Dyson provides just that. I feel like I'm a leader on this team, honestly. I, uh, I speak to all the guys with the same respect. I love to have a joke around and when it's time to get serious, we, we get serious. Despite it only being Taylor's first season at Bowling Green, the Manchester native has enjoyed every moment being a part of this Falcons team, especially being a part of the program's community and culture. Definitely the guys and the, the community that we've got um, backing us. At my old school, we didn't really have many fans, but coming here, playing in front of kids that want your autograph, that know you by your name, that look up to you, and the guys that were around every day, taking care of each other, having a good time, but also being really into the soccer and taking care of themselves. 
that's the that's the best part. Lucas Kleinmeier, Falcon Media Sports Network.